The SLS AMG. The most remarkable characteristics are the gull wing doors. If they're wrongly adjusted, this causes noise and affects the look of the vehicle. The doors can be moved in three directions. In the X direction, forward and back. In the Y direction, to the left and right. And in the Z direction, up and down. The first setting is a Z and Y direction in these four points. The correct gap dimension is 4.5 millimeters. Check all joints with a feeler gauge. In this case, there's not enough clearance. On the roof, the gap dimension is also 4.5 millimeters, both at the front and the rear roof paneling. The joint in the middle roof must be 6 millimeters wide. The doors are wrongly adjusted. They're fixed like this. In the first step, remove the door sill. First, unclip the cover with a wedge. The strip is taped. Remember to remove the tape remnants and to attach new tape before installing. Then unscrew three screws and take off the sill. Pay attention here too to the adhesive tape. The lock striker is next. Remove the screws. Now to the door. The door lining is fastened with clips and can be easily removed. Then the gas filled struts are next. Get a colleague to help you. He holds the door for the removal. Every strut has two retaining clips in the upper and lower end. Take out the clips. And with a little strength, you can remove the gas filled struts. Every door hinge is held by six screws. Loosen four of them while the door is open. First the lower and then the upper ones in the memory module. Now let the gull wing door down carefully. Only then should you lightly undo the remaining screws. And now you can adjust the door. Set the gap dimension and check it afterwards with a feeler gauge. Are the gaps correct? If not, then adjust again. Now tighten the four screws in the interior again. This way you prevent the door from moving. Open the door carefully. Tighten the lower four screws in the door hinges with a torque of 32 newton meters. The upper four too. The small fixing bolts in the memory module are tightened with 5 newton meters of torque. Lastly, the gas filled struts come back in their place. Don't forget to reinstall the retaining clips. Now the door is correctly adjusted in the X and Y direction. The setting in the Z direction, up and down, is a little different. Test using a feeler gauge whether the doors in the car body are at the same level. Here the setting is obviously not right. To remedy this, first remove the sun visors and the cover of the rain sensor. When taking off the roof operating unit, pay attention to the plugs. The front liner is fastened to the car body with two screws. With a screw gun, they're removed quickly. A wedge helps to unclip the roof liner. Make sure to disconnect the two plugs.
Remove a seat so that you can take out the rear shelf. For more details, check the appropriate VIS document. Next, take out the Parktronic sensor under the rear window. The rear shelf is held by clips. And of course, there's another plug to disconnect. You're almost ready to adjust the door. First, unclip the lining of the B-pillar. And take off the two coat hooks with a screwdriver. The rear roof liner is clipped too. A few quick moves and it's gone. You'll now need your colleague's help again. Hold the gull wing door from the outside while your workmate loosens the four screws in the car body roof. By the way, the gas filled struts remain mounted for this. To recap, the door was above the car body. Now with the door open, push the door down a bit. Afterwards, your colleague tightens the screws inside the vehicle again. Let the door down carefully and make sure that the door is aligned with the car body at the transition to the fenders and the roof. If required, repeat the adjustment. Here everything is okay. Finally, the lock striker comes back in its place. Tighten it lightly and let the door down carefully. Make sure that the striker goes into the door lock properly. Once the striker is in place, tighten the screws with 25 Newton meters. Now the doors are correctly adjusted in all directions and the look of the SLS AMG is perfect once again in every regard.